Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I want to say thank you for uh, tuning in to the up-and-coming episodes of my Best of Show. We're on episode number three right now, and my guest at this time is someone that I've been trying to get for quite a while, but finally things have worked out. <laughs> a legendary guy who was originally uh, the cowboy in the village people, I give you my friend Randy Jones. Welcome. Hey, Frankie and everybody. How y'all doing out there? Oh, it's it's going very well. Is it cold? <laughs> oh, <laughs> hell yes. <laughs> I tell you that much. What's the temperature out there? It's 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 been chilly here in New York too. Well, it's uh well uh, probably not as chilly as it is in New York. Or uh, well, it's probably it's more chillier in New York. It's uh right now it's like below seven. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, well, how do you guys live out there? Well, I think after years and years of uh, just being used to it, you know, it just kind of grows on you, you know. Yeah, well, I, I obviously because um, I, and I've been <clears throat> now. You're you're in uh, St. St. Paul, where? Is no, it? Uh, Thief River Falls, Minnesota. It's uh, northwestern Minnesota. It's northwest. Okay, because I have not been. I don't think I've been there. I've been to. Uh, I know I've been to St. Paul and Minneapolis, and we went to a couple places in the north. But okay. I know it gets cold in the winter time. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's a definite. Uh, that's why we always look forward to like summertime and in spring and spring and everything. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so how how the heck are you? I'm I'm doing great. Um, I've got my new CD, uh, Ticket to the World, that's in pre-release. It comes out. Everywhere, uh, the third week of January. Okay. And I'm currently performing in an off-Broadway show called The Madonna Whore, Confessions of a Dirty Mind. Okay. Um, it's running here in New York. Um, lots of things are going on. I'm just keep, keep plugging, you know. Uh, that's cool. And, uh, well, uh, uh, well, thank you for taking the time to let me interview you. And, uh, it should be a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, since, since, uh, I've been waiting for you. I, I don't know if you ever go. Well, I know you have a MySpace page. Right? Oh yeah, I have MySpace, which is uh, myspace.com backslash Randy Jones World. I have my official website, which is randyjonesworld.com, and you can find my CD right now on Apple iTunes and 20 or 30 other different uh, digital download services, as well as you can buy the physical CD. From my website, website which is randyjonesworld.com or cdbaby.com backslash jonesrandy. Okay, and uh, oh. uh, now uh, with you uh, beginning your career, what got you into uh, music and Broadway and all that? Oh uh, well, let's see. Since a kid, I've been performing in 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 um, theater and in musicals. I attended. Um, University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill, uh, and studied theater, communications, and film. And then I attended the North Carolina School of the Arts in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and studied uh, choreography and dance. Um, while I was doing uh, in Winston-Salem, I started working with a great American choreographer, Agnes DeMille, who was responsible for choreographing such musicals as... Um, Oklahoma, Carousel, Brigadoon, Paint Your Wagon, uh, and that I worked with their dance company for several years. I moved to New York. I um, continued to go out and tour in musical musical theaters. Um, I've toured in all around the country, from your part, your neck of the woods, <laughs> to Indiana, Indiana uh, Michigan, all the Midwest. Kansas City, Indianapolis, all that area. Um, and uh, once I uh, got up here in ensconced and living in New York, I came up here in 75. I met some wild ladies by the name of Grace Jones and Janice Dickinson and Jerry Hall, and we all were models and just ran around and were on the runways from New York to Milan to London to Paris and had some great times. And then Grace got a record deal, and I was one of the two guys that helped her create her original act. And from there, I um, the producers of I met the producers of Village People, and they asked me if I wanted to be in a group they were putting together. And I asked them, did it pay? And then I said yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and that's how it all started. Then we did Macho Man, and yeah. 
and YMCA and in the Navy and a, a big movie called Can't Stop the Music, yep. and it that was nearly 30 years ago. And, and uh, what was life like, you know, when touring with the village people and being a part of a, such a legendary group as that? Well, it, it, it was it, it was an incredible experience um, for someone in their um, 20s to have the experience of riding on the Concorde, which now doesn't even fly anymore, but riding on a plane that gets you from New York to Paris in just over three hours, <laughs> um, and having carte blanche and first class everything, whether it's limousines, hotels, five-star hotels all around the world, and and the performing in just about <clears throat> every on every continent in just about every country um everything from um oh i don't know i i've done every, the experiences everything from performing for um uh outdoor shows of 280,000 people uh, like the Canada Jam um performing at the original Moulin Rouge in Paris Command performance for the Queen of England. Um, not to mention being in that movie I mentioned, Can't Stop the Music, yeah. cost about thirty-five million dollars in nineteen seventy-nine dollars. To um, performing at an inaugural ball for our, our current president George Bush in two thousand five, yeah. after he was elected. Oh wow! So uh, I've and and that was as a solo artist. So okay. I, I, my my career has spanned more than about 35 years and it is still going strong i mean like i said I, I get up every day and make sure i know my lines and show up at the theater for an eight o'clock curtain at night and portray a psychiatrist who's uh, deeply in need of psychiatry himself <laughs> in this play um the madonna whore and um when i'm not doing that when I have a day or two off, I go out and I do uh, shows on the weekends or on my days off, um, performing music from my new CD, Ticket to the World. Um, and when I get a minute, I call my friends in Minnesota and chat to them on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. So, I, you know, I'm just continuing keeping on. Well, that, uh, that's, that's cool. And uh, how was able to get a hold of you if... If you're kind of wondering, I think you kind of already know, but just uh, to say it once again, uh, I uh, knew uh, Mike Massey, you know, Michael Massey. from. He's uh, down in Raleigh, right? Yeah, down in Raleigh. He does uh, Mikey's Adventure Show. and uh, Which he, I've, I, you know, I've not been able to see it. Do you, have you seen tapes of it? Have you seen it? Uh, I've seen, I've seen uh, on the MySpace page, because uh, that's his, basically his official website. And right. it's all of ours just about, besides the ones that have their own domain or whatever. Uh, he normally puts uh, up uh, clips of uh, stuff that he's done, not full-length, like uh, actual TV shows, but uh, just little five-minute clips here and there on what he does. And He just recently did some stuff at uh, Overtimes, which is a pub in Raleigh. Yeah. And uh, he did some stuff over there, and then he did some uh, uh, jousting or whatever, uh, some yeah something like that in Raleigh and yeah so you'll have to check it out. Uh, well, now, uh, the, the, let's see, do they do first of all? Um, have you been to Raleigh? No, I've never. <laughs> I'll, I'll be honest. I'm just a 23 year old kid that uh, hasn't really been around the world like you have yet. So yeah. You know, well, the, my interest in that is um, I'm that's my hometown. I was born yeah, and raised in. Yeah. I know that. Born there, I went to high school there. I at Chapel Hill, the University of North Carolina is only about 28 or 30 miles from there, so that's where I went to my first university where I studied theater and communication. Yeah. So, and I, when I go back, I try to coordinate with Mike, but I haven't been able to to do a show yet. But I look forward to doing that when I'm down there again next month. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, you know, he he uh, he, he works pretty hard. I mean, he's uh, you know. How 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 we met, uh, which is kind of a funny story. Uh, we just uh, <clears throat> uh, through the MySpace deal. I, you know, besides you, I've done uh, thirteen other interviews with people, and he was one of the people I interviewed. Mm -hmm. And we just kind of hit it off from there. Have not been to Raleigh yet. He has not been over here to see Fever yet, but uh, who knows? You know. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Raleigh Raleigh's a great town, and it's certainly grown tremendously. Oh yeah. Definitely. Um, I was in high school there. It's it's a it's a, it's a booming 
big city now. It used to be a smaller capital town. That it's not a town anymore. It's a it's a big city. It's got yeah. a lot of traffic. It's it's got it's a big place. A lot of people are moving there. Well, Raleigh gets a lot of business, and uh, it kind of, kind of reminds me of Thief River Falls. Well, Thief River Falls is way smaller than Raleigh, but uh, Raleigh probably is the size of Grand Forks, North Dakota, probably. And uh, I don't know since I've never been there, but. Uh, See, there is a good sized town over here. We have everything you need: your WalMarts, your tar or not your Targets, but your Kmart's and everything else. So. <laughs> but uh, more about you. Uh, mm. Now uh, I understand. Now uh, throughout your, after you were done performing music, you know, you or taking a break or whatever, you uh, did some acting and whatnot. You uh, were in the, the Simpsons. You did a voiceover. Oh yeah, we we uh, the Simpsons. There's yeah. I, well, I, I I've actually. It's not like I've taken a break from ever ever really have taken a break from music. Okay. Um, I've just had the this this career as a performer. First of all, I was trained as an actor to begin with. Yeah. And then I. Uh, somehow I became, uh, well, as a young person, I trained as an actor, singer, dancer. I took all three. And um, as, an, as a performer, um, if, you're, if you have um, abilities in as many areas as possible, yeah. um, I think that benefits the performer. So if, there, if someone wasn't, Offering you a job to sing, then there was someone maybe offering a job to act, or then if there wasn't offering either of those two, maybe there was offering a job to dance. Yeah. And you're always lucky when it involves all three. Oh yeah. So that's sort of um, I, I, wherever the gig is, as I go. Okay. So that's probably why you saw you, if you've been to my IMDb oh, yes, yes. on page, you yes, see that I've either. My voice, my face, or my uh, show up somewhere. Yep. In a, in a, whether it's The Simpsons, whether it's um, Married with Children, on Periscope, where, whatever it is, <laughs> I'm, I'm some, there somewhere. There is a, a a couple films that should be out this this coming year. Um, one is called A Tale About Bootlegging, which is about um, um, moonshiners in the 30s in oh, North, wow. North Carolina. And another one called Three Long Years, which is um, where I play this kind of um, off his, a little off his kilter nurse out in um, a little town called Athens, Ohio. Okay. And um, but uh, people can always keep up um, and keep abreast of what's going on with me at RandyJonesWorld.com. Yep. And um, you you can hear music there. You can see a video sampler of um, songs from Ticket to the World. And um, yeah, you know, have a good time. You know? Oh, it's it's it is a nice website. I <clears throat> I gotta give you props on that because I I, I do uh, I, I like how you you got like. Well, so people have an idea of what your new album sounds like. Yeah. You, you got like a nice little five-minute video that yeah. kind of is a highlight, you know. I think yeah. that's cool. It's a highlight of each of, the, of all the, the songs on the on the CD. And it, and it combines a lot of different genres of music. It's, a, you know, it's like disco, party music, rock music, just whatever you want, basically. Well, it's pop. It's pop music, and that's what pretty much what I am. I'm a pop singer, and I my career has spanned from 75 till now. Yeah. And um, my voice is a pop voice. Um, so uh, I, 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 this collection of songs on this CD, Take It to the World, I have done because they're songs that I like to sing, songs I like to listen to, and songs for friends and fans. Oh, yeah. So that's pretty much why I did that. Oh, and it's good. Yeah. I like it. It's it's wonderful. I listen to it. It's in my iPod and my yeah. Nano. I listen to it all the time. Well, that's good. And I'm sure you sing to it, too. You, you kind of sing along once in a while. And <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I sing along, definitely, especially when they're paying. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know what I mean, though, like if you're in the car by yourself or, or whatever or however that goes and yeah. you listen to your stuff, you're like, gee, I sound pretty damn good, you know? Yeah, and, you know, especially uh, there's a there's a song that I love that when I'm going in between appointments or making, if I'm walking on the streets of New York, <clears throat> there are two songs particularly that I like to listen to. One of them is um, a song called New York City Boy. 
Okay. Which is, sounds to me like one of the best Village People songs that Village People never recorded. Yeah. Um, and the other one is my version of Rhinestone Cowboy. Okay, okay. Yeah, I've heard that in the sampler, yeah. Yeah, and uh, the way Rhinestone Cowboy starts out, it says, um, I've been walking these streets so long, um, singing the same old song. I know every crack on these dirty sidewalks of Broadway. <laughs> so it's uh, very appropriate for walking around. Yeah, there. yeah, definitely. Yeah. I've never been to New York. What's life like in New York? Oh, it like no place else. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's great. It's it's um it's a huge city, but it uh and to people who visit and 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 New York to New York that are that are guests and tourists, they may see it as this big looming um megalopolis that yeah. is is daunting and maybe a bit intimidating. Oh yeah. But for a city that has such huge buildings and large numbers of people and places and things, there's something amazingly human about it. Um, and far from being the intimidating place that a lot of people see, those of us who live here um, see it as it really is. It's just a bunch of neighborhoods and small towns that just happen to be next door to each other. Oh, yeah. And for um, those of us that live here, and there's a huge number of people that live here, eight or nine million people. Oh, yeah, dude. Um, I think we are a remarkable example of what the definition of what a city really is. Yeah. A place of civilization. Um, I'm really glad that I can call it um, a home now. I live here. I have, I mean, I, I love the, the home we have in North Carolina, but yeah. I also love um, calling North Carolina, I mean, New York City home. It is a, a wonderful place. I love New York, I love Manhattan, and I love the village. I have lived in the village my entire life. I am the only village person that ever lived in the village. <laughs> so you're a last, lifetime village person. Village well, people. <laughs> 1975. Uh, now, uh, uh, let me ask you this. Now, I hate to really uh, end on, or uh, have it be on a sad note here, but were you there uh, during 9-11 at all? Yeah, yeah, of course we were. Uh, we were certainly here. We watched. <clears throat> live about, I live about a mile from those buildings. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, we watched those buildings catch fire and burn and fall down. Okay. From the roof garden that I have. Okay. Um, so we watched all that happen. That was a a very surreal time. It was um a time. That, looking at that, it, it, it looked like we were watching a Dino De Laurentiis movie being filmed yeah. with expe with spectacular special effects. Yeah, <clears throat> it was really um, a very strange, surreal thing to watch. Oh, I suppose the after effects. Yeah, and um, I just thought I think that's like that's like my generation's uh, Pearl Harbor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll never forget how that happened yeah. and what it was like. Well, the thing thing with that is, you know, I I remember that day and I remember exactly where I was that day. I was like I said, I've never been to New York, but I was just a, a senior in school, you yeah. know, and I was doing working at the well local nursing home, and yeah, because I didn't have to. For the first six weeks of my senior year, I did not have to worry about going to school. I got paid to do a job at the nursing home, so that was kind of nice. But I, I was there that day that it happened, and when we turned on the CNN news, and then we found out, oh, what the heck? Somebody crashed into a plane, crashed into one of the buildings, and then, and then seeing the same result on the second side, you know. <clears throat> exactly. <clears throat> but uh, it, it's it's pretty weird. I, I hate to hate to bring some sadness to the radio, but you know I figured since you're from New York, you probably can t share a story or two from that. You know, but uh, now back to your career now uh, with the, all the and, and I'm asked. I even asked Don Stroud this when I interviewed him uh, <clears throat> after everything that you accomplished, uh, and, and I know the fun's just still beginning, but. Uh, uh, have you had a, a great successful career? Do you do you feel like uh, the industry has really uh, took care of you pretty well? Do I? Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, I yeah, I have I've had a I've, I've had an incredibly wonderful, gifted, great career that uh, I think most anybody in this business would have want would have wanted to have. First yeah. of all, 
most people never have a number one or a number two or a number three or a number four song, much less three or four of them. Yeah. Number one. Most people who are entertainers never achieve the 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 level this level the level of success yeah. of, of of being um, r recognized and the recognition of by so many people. I have um, been so blessed to be part of something that millions and millions and millions of people around the world are aware of. Um, this year we just passed, um, in my career, um, sales that have surpassed 100 million units okay. of CDs, tapes, um, cassettes, vinyl, DVDs, oh, videos, all of that. I mean, more than 100 million units have been sold over the past 30 years, and um, not many people achieve that. Oh. Um, I've I've been lucky to uh, been able to stretch out and perform not only as a member of Village People, but I've been able to do television. I've done. If you go to my IMDb page, I've done tons of TV, I've done film, I, I do stage uh, musicals, I've done about 30 different um, Broadway-type musicals. I yeah. have performed in, in just about every media medium that there is, and um, I, I, I'm, I, yeah, I, I, feel, I feel completely blessed and lucky, mm -hmm. and um, Village People yeah. um, has been a, been a very lucrative and wonderful source of um it's been a one the financial rewards have been terrific and they've been i've been very blessed by that um and i continue to i mean yeah you know after having been working in a career for as long as i have and and to still have some place that's paying you to get show up at eight o'clock at night <laughs> and say some lines i'm 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 a very very happy camper and working actor oh yeah <laughs> Well, I that, like it. Oh, that, 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 that's good, you know. It's just like, you and I, that's what you and I have a lot in common with you. We like what we do, you know. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 when, when, like like people always say, you know, if you like what you do, it's not work. It's yeah. just fun. <laughs> I would like to say, um, if, uh, and I would love, uh, first of all, um, I'm very proud of this um, project that I currently have, um, the, the CD, Ticket to the World. Yeah. Um, I um, feel very uh, lucky and, and um, very pleased that I've been able to get the material from the great writers that I've gotten from. I've got a um, Your Disco Needs You, which opens, yep. which is uh, by Kylie Minogue and Robbie Williams. <laughs> oh, really? The great singers and writers. Um, I've got If I Can't Have You, written by the Bee Gees. Yep. Um, I've got I'm a Believer, written by Neil Diamond and originally recorded by the Monkees. I've got Sleeping, which is a wonderful song that was written by a singer, uh, a British singer called Rick Astley. I've got um, No Matter What, which is written by the incredible Sir Andrew Lloyd Webber, who wrote Phantom of the Opera and um, other uh, Sunset Boulevard, a lot of other great super hit musicals, including Cats. Um, I've got New York City Boy, which was written originally by the Pet Shop Boys, and right. they recorded it as a tribute to Village People. So I'm kind of taking it a step further and recording it, um, and as an homage back to them. I've got um, an incredible um, kind of Sting style jazz version of a Depeche Mode song called Free Love. Okay. And then um, there's my wonderful uh, kind of uh, country, country fried, um, chicken fried, country two-step dance version of um, Rhinestone Cowboy that I think people will like. I think they should give it a listen. Yeah, and uh, I, I think uh, with your permission, uh, do you think it's okay uh, as a way when I kick off the interview if I uh, if I go to your website because we have the access to uh, like uh, well not so much copy but like uh, a, a sounds that are playing on the computer on the website. We could like dub into like the you know the computer and then the recorder and you know. absolutely. Uh, in fact, I can probably send you a copy. Okay. When would you? When do you want? When do you? Well, well, see, well, what we would do is uh. Wait, uh, you get the copy and then cut this in, right? Well, e either that or uh, I can go to your website and uh, cut in that five-minute sampler. It doesn't really matter. Whatever, you, whatever you want well, me to do is. 
because this won't air until, well, well it's airing right now, but it's uh, uh, my third episode of my best of show. So. No, you know what we'll do? What we'll do is we will upload that um, that sampler as an MP3. Okay. And give you a web, uh, uh, um, an URL, a web, a, a, a place you can go to and download that that will be much higher quality. Okay, okay. So that will be perfect for you to play. Oh, cool. I, I really appreciate that. And, uh, yeah. Well, I hate to... Hate to hate to run, but uh, I was first of all thank you. I'm not gonna let you go yet, but thank you for giving me the opportunity to interview somebody like you. And it's very, uh, it's a uh, a lot of respect has been earned and given, I think, to for, to let this interview happen. Well, so, uh, Frankie, thank you very much. And do you need me to send you any information like bio or any any of that stuff? Well, if you could send me an autographed picture, that'd be cool. You know, <laughs> I can certainly do that. Let me... uh, now, you email me. A, a, yeah, I will email you my address. Now, one thing I'm going to have you do, and this is if you listen uh, to any of my other interviews on my MySpace page, whatever, uh -huh. I always have people give me a legal ID, mm -hmm. say who you are, who you listen to, and what station you're listening to. Okay, well, tell me, give me the station call letters. It's uh, Pioneer 90.1. 90 or 98? 90, 90.1. Okay. Pioneer 90.1. Yep. Okay. And then I'm Frank. Did I say you're listening to Frankie Slauson? Yeah, if you want to, go right ahead. Okay. Hello, this is Randy Jones. I'm the original cowboy from Village People, and you're listening to Pioneer 90.1 with Frankie Slauson. All right. Thank you, man. And uh, like I say, uh, check out my MySpace page if you ever had a chance. Uh, all the interviews that I've done, not every interview that I've done is on there, but uh, I'll look up the current ones anyway, so. <laughs> okay, let me do that again. Okay. Let me do that interview, that, that, um. Legal ID? ID, yeah. Uh, okay. Hello, you're listening to Randy Jones, the original cowboy from Village People, and you're listening to Pioneer 90.1 with Frankie Slauson. <laughs> okay. How's that? That's better. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like radio, right? Yes, yeah, that's that's true blue radio. That's and I tell radio. you what, I tell you what, you know, maybe one day you'll be lucky enough to do a, a tour through uh, Thief River. Who knows? You know. Now I'd like to tell me th how do you spell the name again? It's uh, Thief River, like thief. You know, like like, like thief, like robber thief. You know. Yeah. And then uh, -E T H I E F, right? Yeah. Okay. And then River. Yeah. You know, and Falls. Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Wow, that's way up there, isn't it? <laughs> Hey, you're far away from us, too. So, uh, I know. All right, well, so send me an address, and I'll send you information. Uh, but I'll send you um, um, some uh, I'll send you some bio information to okay. your email anyway. Okay, I appreciate that. And uh, happy holidays, and uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to meet you in the future. Thank you, Frankie. <clears throat> I'm very um, glad that you included me, and um, I'm glad we got this done. Well, I, I appreciate the fact that you... Uh, Give me the time to talk to you. Like I said, it's an honor, and uh, you have no idea how much respect I have for you because of this. You know. Thank you so much, and we certainly do help you. Appreciate you helping us get the word out about the CD. Oh yeah, and uh, we and I will give you the uh, online uh, address to listen to. Uh, we're we're an uh, online radio station as well, so that'll be great. And so that's archived there, right? Yep. Okay, good. All right. All right. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye.